Ooh, get him, son. Ooh, wee. Oh, snap. Oh, I see you, invisible dude. Got nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, son. Yo. I think my frame is here. <laughs> yes, yeah, son. You. Oh, snap. Oh. My new frame came in. I am stoked. Super excited, as you can tell from the box. I got a new Sunday frame to replace my 12 year old Sunday frame. Freaking excited. Man, I haven't bought a frame in. I don't even know how long, man. When I bought this bike, I bought it as a complete used around like 2010 or so. At that point already, it was like four or five years old. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome back to the channel, by the way, guys. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, this frame is a 2006 Sunday. It's just an OG frame, so that's all they called it back in the day. Everything else on my bike is within the last year or so, except maybe the pedals. I decided the last time I did a bike check, I'll link it right up here, that I was gonna keep the frame for a while until I got more comfortable with riding again and I have so I decided since I've got a bunch of dings and stuff like that and it's just an older frame that it was time to upgrade the frame let's go got myself some pads a bunch of junk and there it is oh man I hope I don't uh, put a big scratch in it right before I even put it together. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's so dope. Yes, I got the Sunday Street Sweeper in the 21 inch because I'm a tall dude. This is the Jake Seely signature frame. Another reason why I actually bought a new frame is because this frame is a little bit shorter. It's so pretty. So here's the thing. So here's what's going on. Last time I did a bike build, I bought all this blue shadow conspiracy stuff, like the hubs and the stem, the sprocket in blue. And the problem is this is the 2018 model frame and they decided to come out with this color for 2018. And I think it's gonna clash. So I'm gonna put it together. If you guys see what I'm talking about, that blue doesn't really I don't know, we'll try it out. But I don't think it goes very well with the teal, the translucent teal color or whatever the heck it is it's called. I hate to do this, so I might end up buying some new parts or paint those. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna put it together first, see how it goes. I think the seat's gonna match. I'm a stickler for matching. I like stuff to match. All right, enough talking, man. Let's put it together. I'm freaking stoked. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this little by little. I'm gonna try to get it done tonight, but freaking our UPS guy doesn't come till like 8.30, 8.45 at night. I'm gonna be able to put most of the bike together. I don't know why I'm even telling you guys this. By the end of this video, there's gonna be a complete bike. But I figured since my shirt's probably gonna change in between this <laughs> and you might catch on, I'd let you know what's happening. Because the only thing I'm not gonna be able to do tonight is actually put on the cranks because that makes too much noise and I'm not gonna be banging hammers at 9, 9.30 at night in my apartment building. That's just not fair to people. I've been called out before for not using grease, like on the headset. So I'm gonna go ahead and start greasing stuff too. I'm talking a lot. Let's freaking put the bike together. I'm freaking excited. All right, I'm gonna start with the front of the bike. Holy crap, that's killing my shins. Yeah, I'm gonna grease that. That was awful. This is automotive grease. I don't know if it's gonna be a the same, that looks like jello. Doesn't that look like jello? Lesson learned, kids. Grease up your bike so you're not stuck like me. 20 minutes later with busted shins trying to take out, trying to take out the freaking handlebars and stuff. All right, time to grease up the head tube. Put a little bit more in there. Just a little bit more. Dude, I'm gonna get grease every freaking where. Oh my God. My hands are covered in grease. It's still hella freaking tight. Jesus. Put the grease on this thing too. Stick it right there. What I really need to invest in is one of those stands that holds the bikes so you can put bikes together. But you know, I'm not a pro, nor do I work in a bike shop, so. But it would be freaking handy. Tell you what. 
All right, I'm greasing the seat post as well because I don't want this thing to seize on me. I'm going buck wild with the grease so I don't get called out for it anymore. I read the comments. All right, the seat's on. Now I can flip the bike over. And that's most of the bike, man. All I have left is the cranks. <laughs> starting to look like a bike. All right, that's it for day one. Let's go ahead and move on to day two. All right, it is day two of the build. Shout out to Austin. We're vlogging! For letting me borrow a profile puller tool do hickey thing, whatever this thing is called. If I didn't tell you guys it was day two, I wonder if anybody would have noticed if I changed clothes. Crank time. I probably should have taken the cranks out while the whole bike was pretty much together because this is gonna be kind of a, a pain in the ass. Ooh, I'm gonna bust a knuckle. All right, apparently I don't know how to use this stupid tool, so I'm gonna go get a hammer and beat the shit. Oh, all right. It is hammer time. Hammer time. Go with the phone. It is said if you can't move the list, then you probably are dead. So it's going, but it's going really slow. Two thousand years later. There it goes. Oh my god. And there we go. All right, got that done finally. So, next step is to put it inside the bike. Time to lube it up. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I didn't do this last time, guys. That's probably what the problem is. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I am doing every freaking part that goes together is gonna have some sort of grease on it. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh yeah? I didn't even say echo. The stupid machine has a mind of its own. I swear to God, one day it's gonna freaking grow legs and come after us in the middle of the night. Stupid hockey puck. All right, one bearing is on. Use a spacer. Every time you don't use one of these things, you're putting pressure on the bearings. Bearings are not meant to go in and out. Bearings spin and they're meant to stay in one place. That's my little top tip for you guys. And done. All right, got some grease. Let's get the profile puller thingy my bobber out. Oh yeah, like a breeze. God, that's amazing, that's so easy. Sweet, cranks are on. Let's get the back wheel on and see how long the chain needs to be. And uh, tighten everything up and I will be done. <laughs> I excite. I'm not excited. The chain that I have is a Colt Half-Link. I didn't go with the Shadow one just because the Shadow one's really expensive and I have not had any problems with this Colt one yet. Pretty solid so far. I'm almost done putting my bike together. I hope you guys like the video so far. This is probably kind of boring. I'm gonna cut this down severely. All right, back in is done. Let me flip it, let me tighten the headset down. And I am done with my bicycle. I get really OCD about this part. All right. The last thing I gotta do is take off these stupid little stickers right here. Oh, come on, don't be a jerk. Oh man, what are you doing to me, Sunday? Dang it! Here we go. And done! All right guys, let's go ahead and do a quick bike check. We're gonna start off with the Sunday frame. This is a 21 inch Sunday street sweeper. It's the Jake Seeley frame. I bought it in 21 because I'm pretty tall. It does have a slam back end. I believe it's a 13 inch. And the head tube is a 75.25, so it's a little steep. Maybe I'll learn nose manuals or hang fives. That's part of my one of my tricks I wanna learn this year. The seat is still the Mark Burnett shadow seat. The stem is the Mark Burnett stem as well in the polar pop blue the headset is shadow the front hub is shadow as well I am not endorsed or sponsored by shadow why would I be I'm not very good but I like their parts so the handlebars are shadow Voltus courtesy of Uncle Craig he hooked me up with those bars I kind of still owe him money for that but they are nine inch rise. The forks I got in a promo, they are premium taper light forks. I know it doesn't match everything else on my bike, but I wanted white to match the white handlebars. And they were like super cheap on sale from the premium website. It was like 45 bucks shipped or something like that. And they've been pretty awesome so far. I've had no problems with them. So plus they have a lifetime warranty. So I have no problem with that. I have the Colt half link chain and the Colt pegs that I got when I was in 
California. I went four pegs. I had kink pegs that were like 18 years old uh, that I finally retired. I've been wearing these out, man, both sides. I don't go plastic. I'm not a fan of the plastic pegs. And I like the longer ones. I feel like the ones that are like half inch shorter than this, I just, I can't stick. So I got the Colt pegs. I think they're like four and a half inch. The back wheel is still the Sunday free coaster that I had with a matching front rim, which is a Sun Rhino Light XL. I will probably be getting new wheels soon just because I keep chewing them, but eventually like these rims are pretty thin and light. So they're just gonna wear away and I don't feel like building new wheels. So I'll just buy them built already. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about these tires for a while. These tires I got while I was in California this last trip back in November because all the skate parks in California are super slippery and I just kept eating it with those Rant Squad tires that I had from the last bike build. And those tires are super slick, like, ridiculously slick, especially with the skate parks in California. So from Uncle Craig's recommendation, I bought the Animal T1 tires. They are pretty grippy. I haven't been really happy with the finish on them. Like for some reason, they've got like a, I'll show you guys real quick. So if you notice, they're kind of like split in the middle right here. One side is taller than the other side. And then when it goes like halfway to the other side of the tire, it flip flops. So I don't know what that's all about, but I'm not too worried about it. It'll probably wear away evenly eventually. But I've noticed when I ride like at least the front wheel it kind of like makes me wobble a little bit back and forth but I haven't slid off of anything yet so and I've ridden a couple skate parks with it but even switching this out the California skate parks are way too slick but anyways so that's the reason why I got these and I got rid of those rant squads I do not recommend those rant squad tires at all they're like 15 bucks a piece they'll get you by for a little while but just get rid of it man they're awful of course I have profile GDH cranks they are 175 millimeter length I've always liked that length I'm a taller guy like I said so I feel a lot more comfortable because I have longer legs and that I know a lot of guys that ride street that like a little bit shorter but not me I've been very happy with 175 I won't be switching that out and then the last thing that I am gonna be talking about are my pedals these are the Odyssey twisted plastic pedals this is the oldest thing on this bike everything else is really new like less than a year except for these pedals they're like 12 or 13 years old I haven't had a problem with them yet so plus they match the seat it's got a little bit of purple on the seat so that's why I've kept them eventually I am gonna get new pedals but until I wear them out man I've, I'm very happy with these like they have bearings in them I've always been a fan of that but that's it guys that is my bike I am super happy about it I freaking love it I'm worried about the back end being a little short but I'll get used to it oh this is so sick do one quick look at it yeah, I don't know guys. What do you think? Comment below if you think I should get some new parts. Like that doesn't match the frame at all, but the white actually looks really good with the teal frame. Anyways, that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited about my new bike. I will be putting out a video soon of me riding it and learning all the new geometries that are part of this frame. I look forward to it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you soon. Peace.